Hello, I'm Rawaki here. I'm a Japanese fishing enthusiast based in the United States. This past holiday season, I spent time in my home country, Japan, with my family. It was a good relaxing time at my parents' house. But when I think of Japan, yes, it's all about sakura shops. You know how dangerous Japanese fishing sakura shops can be, right? They are like money vacuums. Look at this! Wow, it's the Daiwa IMZ Limit Breaker. A reel that can connect to a smartphone app. It's a next generation invention. Ooh, that's cool! But this year, I know, Daiwa will release a new sell date. So I need to save my money. Yet, it's impossible not to spend. <laughs> Yeah, I have to confess, I bought tons of fishing gear. In this video, let me show you some of the utility items I brought back from this trip. The first item is Ryugi R Tank Size L, a tackle storage case. It's designed for terminal tackles like weights, jig heads, snaps, and hooks. This looks cool, but maybe it's a bit too big? I prefer small boxes. Instead of carrying a huge tackle box, I usually pack a few small cases in my shoulder bag. That's my style. This case is waterproof, which is awesome. However, that feature does make the box a bit bulky. I understand it's a fair trade-off though. I've had my eye on this case for a while. I love the idea of having all my small terminal tackles in one place. And this looks perfect. So, I did not just get one. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> I'm planning to use the green one for my freshwater fishing setups and the black one for my saltwater gear. I believe these items are available at Tucker Warehouse and the hookup tackles, though they might sell out quickly. The popular Bassmaster Elite Pro Taku Ito uses Ryugi Terminal Tackles. So, his fans might be eager to get their hands on these. Next up, can you guess what this is? This is a pouch for reader spools by Daiichi Seiko, designed for storing and carrying readers. Looks cool, right? I know, I know. We don't really need things like this. We could just put those spools into a Ziploc bag instead. But ever since I first saw this on the internet, it's been on my mind. Usually when I go fishing with my light tackle setups, I bring 8 and 10 pound leaders. For mid to heavy setups, I carry 12 and 20 pound liters. That means I always have at least two spools with me. This pouch can store up to two spools. I can hang this on the hook on my fishing bag. I'm hoping this new gear will be perfect fit for my needs. Leader Pouch Neo by Daiichi Seiko. Let's check out the next item. This is the Daiichi Seiko Not Assist. There are two versions, the original and version 2.0. This one here needs the original version. I also own version 2.0. These tools are really helpful for tying the FG nut. Although, I know how to tie it without these tools. 
Honestly, I don't use them that often. Still, they are great for teaching my kid how to tie the FG knot. Additionally, sometimes when I'm fishing and don't have a place to put my rod and reel on the ground, especially when I'm surf fishing, these tools can be a great help. By the way, I have a video that explains the Hotta style FG knot tying, which is popular in Japan because it's simple and easy. If you are not yet familiar with the FG knot, please check out that video. Okay, next. Do you know what this is? It's a special plier for silicon tubes used for wacky and neko rigs. These rigs are incredibly productive, but have one serious issue. The worm can easily rip off. This is especially true when using soft, fragile worms like Gary Yamamoto lures. In the worst case scenario, the worm might even fly away just from casting it. To prevent these problems, there are tricks like heat shrink tube tuning, which I explained in my previous video. However, these days, using silicon rings is becoming popular. I'm very interested in this system and want to see how it works. So, I got this to test it myself. This tool is from Barry Hill, a Japanese fishing brand. I bought 4, 5, 6, and 7mm tubes. I cannot wait to test them. Maybe when winter is over, this will be the first thing I try out. Okay, what's next? Oh yes, this is a rubber threader for mushi tuning. Mushi tuning needle by Smith. Mushi means bag in Japanese. As you might know, bag type lures have become quite a trend in recent years. This tool is for customizing your lure to resemble a bag type lure. How do we use this tool? Simply hook a rubber or silicon skirt and thread it into soft plastic worms. This way, we can create our custom hairy caterpillar type worms. These customizations give the lure higher appeal and a slower sinking action. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Just imagine a Senko with numerous legs and tentacles. Wow, I think it could make a real difference. I believe many of you will also find this idea interesting. Keep an eye out for upcoming videos on this topic on my channel. Yep, as you might expect, that's just a piece of my total purchases. Look, I also bought these many soft lures. Japanese tackle shops are really dangerous spots. Once we get there, it's hard to leave without buying quite a bit. The reviews and demonstrations of these lures will be coming in the future videos. Please keep your eye on my channel. More to come in 2024. Make sure to subscribe. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye bye.